Greetings, everyone. Welcome to 2K Sports and another exciting edition of NBA Basketball. Kevin Harlan, let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Davis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Barnes, and it's the three, the small forward. And for the Clippers, George and Leonard are the forwards. Then it's Ivica Zubac. Then it's Harden, and it's Mann, and it's the two. And Greg, on paper, this looks like a real mismatch. These teams have very different expectations. And in any matchup like this, the early stages are important. The team coming in as a big underdog has to keep it close. Otherwise, things can go south in a hurry. George passes to Zubat. Rebound by the Kings. They come in fresh off a win against the Warriors. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes on the points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Harden can't hit. Kings have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Davis. It's rebounded by Lennon. Boy, what a job defensively. You couldn't play that any better. Man passes to Leonard. From outside, off the mark. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And sometimes Fox just can't be contained. I mean, he plays with so much heart and passion and terrific at scoring even when he gets bodied up. Well, it was the Clippers, their last game a loss to Phoenix. And if you had to point to one problem in that game, it, it was their rebounding. Flat out terrible. Well, the numbers back up that assertion, no doubt about it. And sometimes it's about, hey, we've got to get on the glass and make sure they're feeling us all night long. They didn't do that. Outside, Davis from deep. And his third shot of the night, no good, 0 for 3. Here's Leonard. He's now one for two with that bucket. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Davis. And now Davis pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's Fox with the jam. Boy, Fox is so quick off the floor. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And George kicks to Zubac. Here's Mann. Now George lets the three fly. The shot comes out. Outside, Fox. Barnes trying to free himself up, and it's Fox with the jam. And when your wing, like Murray, is moving the ball effectively, that really helps your offense to flow. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. And with their offense sputtering, coaches got to get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. And for a look at how the competition. Second quarter of basketball, just over a minute and a half played. And Davis puts it in. Such a boost to this offense when this guy can knock down uncontested threes. On the court right now for the Kings. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. De'Aaron Fox out there with Davis. And it's Herter in at the small forward position. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And here's a look at what's coming up for the Kings. On Saturday, they'll be facing Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers. And then on Sunday, they'll tip it off. Road trip beginning in Oklahoma City where they'll take on the Thunder. And for their matchup with the Magic, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. 
anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. This is about the last guy you want to send to the stripe right now. They keep fouling him, and he keeps Davis. making them. And Davis puts it in. They've settled into a nice groove offensively here in the second. There's the pass to Leonard. Here's Mann, driving in. Well, we're accustomed to seeing Kawhi as the finisher, not necessarily known as a passer, but boy, what a pass right there. To the middle, here's Davis. Good, and a nice assist from Fox. Fox has got his third assist on the night. Well, a tough first quarter for this guy. You like to see the shot go in, nicely done. George against Herter. In the corner, Harden. Pass to Mann. Some nice ball movement by the Clippers. Down to five on the shot clock. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And again, the Clippers good for two. Well, if you're that wide open, I can promise you James Harden will find you. Two minutes remain in the first half. Two minutes. And Fox gets it to go. Fox has got the lead up to seven now for the Kings. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Here's Harden. Sacramento grabs the miss. Fox has got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside, Davis. Sabonis, the pass to Davis. Sinks that one from the post. Davis. And it's a nine-point Sacramento lead. I'll tell you, you allow him to get to a spot, and it's over, right? Defense unable to even challenge the shot. Passes to man. And he gets the bucket. Man's got his third basket of the night right there. That was big, because they dug a big hole in the first quarter, but starting to show signs of life. And here's Davis for three. Another three for Sacramento. And Fox is a solid passer. Knows how to get the ball to his guys when they're ready to let it go. Harden the pass to Brock. 40 seconds left here in the second. Murray with the defensive effort. And Murray's got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. Ten-point lead. This is their biggest. And Fox gets it to go. Nice work inside from the smaller Fox. So cunning and crafty around the rim. Harden looking it over. George against Turner. George, no good. Now here's Herter. He's covered closely. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Davis. And that's Point. 15 points for Davis. Of the two offenses here tonight, you can tell theirs is just a bit more in sync. And I think because of that, they've that's gotten the, the better half. looks to With start score, this basketball game. And so that brings the first half to a close. The Kings, Kings lead 49. by... Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. You know, Davis has been exceptional here, guys. And, and if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy. Ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Man in and shooting guard with George at small forward. Down in the block, First it'll be Kawhi five. next to Zubak. And it's Harden in at the point. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Well, MD in the last matchup against the Warriors was outstanding. He ended up with 28 points and wore the defense down with his three-point shooting. He didn't let the losing streak get to him. In fact, he used it as motivation to get the W and break that streak. Kevin? All right, David, thanks. It's going to be interesting to see how he follows up that performance. Yeah, he was the driving force behind that victory, but each night comes with different challenges. 
What you love about this guy, though, is even when the defense adjusts to what he's doing, he'll make an adjustment right back. He is always ready with a counter. We know Doris officiating is always going to be a point of contention, but some teams let it affect them more than others. And, and Kevin, that can obviously have a major difference in so many of the games. And for me, a lot of times it comes down to maturity. Teams that dwell on calls are going to have issues, particularly in big games. Let the coach worry about the officials you play. Third quarter of basketball, about a minute and a half in. George passes to Mann. Rebound by Murray. Murray's got his fourth rebound in this one. Down low. Tries from 10. The Clippers grab the miss. Well, trying to find themselves in the second half here. Just one for four from the field. Can someone in the group get hot? Let's see. Well, you like how aggressive he is making a play at the rim against length. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Timeout is called. First of the game for Sacramento. So it's both teams making substitutions here. And now a moment. Substitution on the court. Five seconds left in the third quarter. And the Clippers miss again. Not sure what, what the team is doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And so it's the Sacramento Kings. Up by a dozen here at the end of the quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard putting the pass right on the money. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. And a look at the five for the Kings to start the fourth. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Davis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Duarte in at the three spot. He muscles it in through the contact and they call the foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. They're trailing, but they are really battling. Working the ball down low, getting good looks in the paint. The inside game much improved from where it was in the first half. When you have one of the great scorers in the history of the game, as you do with James Harden, obviously you want the ball in his hands as much as possible. Outside, Davis. A three-pointer off the mark. Clippers trailed by nine. Pass to Harden. Kicks to George. Hundred on the wing. He's covered by Murray. Six on the shot clock. Zubox. That ball. Nice feed that time from Leonard. Leonard's got three assists now in this one. Now the pass to Murray. To the inside. Here's Davis. And with the rebound. Boy, surprised he missed that. The defense just good enough to prevent that bucket. Leonard, no luck. And his defense so valuable. Not many can bother that shot at the rim. Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. The this guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. And, and give Fox some love there. The, the D wasn't that bad, but he was just focused on finishing that. And the whistle blow. Substitution on the court. Fifty two seconds left to play here in the fourth. Come on, Harden, let's go. Harden against Fox. To the left wing. The wide open look here for Highland. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single digit lead. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Oh, Kevin, not a Petty, not a Manny, 
but a face it. Oh, bounce to the ounce. Greg, yeah, showing off the bunnies. And Davis gets it to go. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. Yeah, surprised he doesn't have more shot attempts. He's been accurate. You'd think he'd want to take control now with them behind. So the Kings win it, and in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Olkins, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening. aggression and my ability to handle it is how I can channel it. Now, I've heard a lot of things said about you, even generational players. What does that pressure feel like having so many people look up to your stick skills coming into the league? You know, a lot of people say that, and I, and I don't think pressure would be the right word. At the end of the day, it's a video game, and, you know, I'm just happy to do, you know, what I enjoy doing for a living, you know, so, you know, I, I'm happy to be here. Talk a little bit about your. It's that time of the year. Happy holidays. A look at the 76ers starting group. Smith is out there with Rollins. Then there's Maxi. Then it's Joel Embiid. And it's Jackson in a two. And for the Kings, Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Davis is out there with De'Aaron Fox. And it's Duarte in at the three. And not yet the midway point of the season, Clark. So much invested in keeping these players healthy and ready to play with lots of games still ahead of us. Yeah, you hope and imagine they'll continue to make really good strides, but I love the progress that's been made in injury prevention and rehabilitation, as well as maintenance so these guys can play at a high level longer. Seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Hits it from three-point range. And it's six points for Davis. Fox really interested in making his teammates better, and he does it with his passing. And about a minute gone here in the first quarter. Maxi. And it's sent back by Sabonis. 76ers ball. Outside, Maxi. Five to shoot. And the pass to Jackson. From deep three-point territory. Sabonis grabs the ball. Sacramento's gone 2-2 two two from three-point range here in the first quarter. 
Davis finds Fox. Up and in on the way. And a fantastic finish. I, I just love seeing Fox work his way through contact and converting. Looking at Philadelphia, they want to turn it around after the loss to Portland. Yeah, I mean, their execution at times was flawless, but they also made some mistakes that ultimately did them in. And, you know, it's never easy trying to win away from home. They were close, but just needed a little more push at the end. And great camera work showing up on the AT&T 5G Slam King. Philadelphia grabs the miss. And guys, this is the first they're seeing of Sacramento. It's not often we get to see this matchup, but it is a doozy when we do. Just two powerhouse teams facing off. Really easy to tell that this is an important game. I mean, I don't know if the crowd will get a chance to take a breath in this one. Here's Fox. 76ers getting the bucket. Davis the pass to Fox. Sabonis with the ball. Guarded by Embiid. Sabonis with the bucket. Boy, Sabonis locked and loaded inside. Nothing the defense can do there. How about Joel Embiid? A high-risk, high-reward pick turns into a superstar. Yeah, that's well said, Greg. I mean, he sat out two years before even seeing the NBA court. Sustained a foot injury before being drafted. Persevered through that. And is now one of the most dominant big men and players in the game. Davis, good, and it's Fox who picks up the assist. Davis has got eight points. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree, I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Both teams deciding to change it up. And checking out some stats for D'Angelo Russell. He's really stood out for them over the past month. And he's in the top 20 in assists per game. His talent for creating easy buckets for his teammates is such an asset. And he deserves credit for knocking down such a high percentage of his free throws. It's not a glamour part of the game, but incredibly important nonetheless. Here's Rollins. His last outing, he had 18 points. Five on the clock. Beasley for three. It's good from long range. You know, with his ability to space the floor, Beasley adds a strong dimension to his team's offense. To the paint, Beasley with the steal. And now the 76ers on the break. And Russell with the basket on the assist by Beasley. And that's such good work to make this a one-possession game. Terrific steal to get it all started. Fox again thrust. Fox kicks to Davis. And another three for Sacramento. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his first foul. First team foul. Williams passes to Rollins. That drops, Rollins. and it comes off an assist from Williams. Rollins got his second basket of the night. The Kings leading. Pass to Herder. He kicks to Davis. Off target with his three. The 76ers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. That puts them in the lead. Beasley. Beasley's got six. And that's exactly what he's looking for, training the triple. Piles against Williams. Shots good by Lyons. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. And it's Russell with the ball. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. They trail by one. Pass to Beast. Ball's not loose. And that's two fouls for him this quarter. A third would be a problem. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. He's knocked down three quarters of his foul shots this season, so he's right around 75 percent. Taking two shots. He's making some changes here. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. They've got Demonis Sabonis. 
Fox is out there with Davis. And it's Vizenkov in at the power forward. That's the five out there for the Kings. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy. Making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. And for a player of his size, Fox not afraid to take some contact to get to the line. He'll do it every chance he gets. That one is off. And we see players sometimes, Greg, after a change of venue, they, they change teams suddenly taking the next step. What can key that lead? Kevin, it's not all just opportunity and fit. I think there can be a mental component as well. A, a fresh start can give you a blank canvas to try new things. High post, Davis. Shoots over Embiid. Again, the miss by the Kings. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Getting the wait is now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, MP in the last matchup against Los Angeles was a man on a mission. He scored 21 points and was reliable as ever from distance. He was certainly effective, doing a little bit of everything for his squad. Two minutes Kevin, you have to appreciate that kind of effort. Excellent, David. Yeah, he was very assertive in that last game, making things happen. Absolutely made his presence felt. And I wouldn't be surprised if he tries to get it going early here tonight. Yeah, I agree. They really need him. I mean, they need his energy, and they need his talent on the floor. That's exactly the look they wanted, guys. Right guy, right play, wrong result. Jackson passes to Embiid. Embiid is just too strong inside. From Jackson. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Fox dishes to Davis. And Sabonis, an easy two points on the lane. Sabonis has got his second bucket of the night. Sabonis is simply relentless on the board. Doing a nice job getting that second chance basket. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Davis. That's his third foul of the game. Already he's looking at his third foul. A big time effort for Joel Embiid, providing a lot of energy for Philadelphia. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. And we'll be back with you shortly. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. Joel Embiid has been sensational. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. Well, you know what, guys? It was all about efficient offense, not rushing things. Taking your time, finding the best shot on every possession. And on the floor for Nick Nurse as we get into the second half. They've got Jackson. Smith is out there with Joel Embiid. Then there's Rollins. And it's Maxi in at the point guard position. Davis kicks to Murray. A pass to Fox. Lock at six. Outside, Davis. Puts up a three. Tyrese Maxi grabs the miss. The 76ers leading by four. And hard not to love a young guy like Tyrese Maxey, who has such a great attitude. Well, I love the way he plays, Greg. Rollins. He's effervescent in his approach. Plays with great speed and pace and fearlessness. He's got a readiness to him and a workmanlike approach that bodes well for him the rest of his career. I think he's a potential all-star, and he delivers in just about any situation he's put in. Jackson has the open look. Drills Jackson. the three-pointer. Three Jackson's got the lead up to nine now for Philadelphia. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Kicks it out to Maxi. Tried to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. And here we go. Fast break. Murray's got it. Not only can Murray run, he, he 
he's smart. He knows where to be on the floor. The pass to Smith. The 19-foot shot. It's tipped. You know, it hasn't been his best outing, but they still find themselves in the driver's seat here. And here's Davis for three. Rollins grabs the board. Rollins got rebound number five here tonight. Not much falling for him this quarter, guys, and you can sense his frustration. The 76ers again can't hit it. The Kings trail by four. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. Tyrese Maxey's 6 a.m. workouts give him an edge. His motto, I prepare in front of nobody to perform in front of thousands. He says he's done three workouts before someone else even opens their eyes to prepare the workout. He said, I feel like that creates a psychological advantage when I step on the court. I have no reason to fear anybody. Kevin? No reason at all. Hey, thanks, DA. Timeout called the 76ers. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Kings. Well, you know, throughout this game, they've shot the ball extremely well from downtown. Their shooters are getting open and letting it fly. And also, guys, they've been showing how dangerous they are in the open floor. When they see a chance to get easy points, boy, they just jump at it. Sabonis is the center with Murray next to him. Davis is out there with Fox. And it's Duarte in at the three. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Maxi and Davis sends it back. And Fox has it in the corner. And it's Fox with the jam. And when your wing, like Murray, is moving the ball effectively, it really helps your offense to flow. And the 76ers call time here. They're behind by six. 149 left in the fourth. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game. He just came out and really took over the game, mainly due to how aggressive he was attacking the defense off the dribble. They had no answer for him, and he knew it. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Smith checked in for Williams. Rollins comes in for Malik Beasley. And it's Jackson in for D'Angelo Russell. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, I was able to listen in on what Nick Nurse told his team. Coach wants him to do a better job defending the perimeter. He said we're late on our rotations, and they're getting great looks because of it. We've got to fight through it. we got to take away the three. We're good, guys. Thank you, David. Here's Maxi, and slam dunk by Maxi. Maxi taking up that airspace, doing a nice job, just bouncing off the floor there. Fox, the bounce pass. To the right side. Outside, Davis. A three, and another three for Sacramento. Yeah, this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And you know what? It's all about the long distance game for him tonight. He's getting it done from out there. Axie passes to Rollins. The putback. And B puts it right back. Whoa. Wow. The size and strength of Embiid, he is absolutely mammoth. Really hard to deal with. You may need a couple of guys to box him out. Now the 76ers with it. Here's Rollins. Here's Embiid. With force. Embiid takes it to him. And you know Embiid wants the ball in these situations. Who wants that shot? He wants to come through for his team. That's Duarte. Sacramento moving it around. And that one's good by Davis. Davis! Relentless in their approach. Keeping with the game firmly in hand. And you know, until that final buzzer sounds, I mean, you've got to treat every possession like it's crucial. And the 76ers call time here. They're trailing by seven. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Kings on D. They lead by seven. Jackson from long range. Rebound by Murray. 
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets yanked soon. I mean, that's how bad his shot selection has been. Sabonis, the pass to Davis. Good, and it's Sabonis with the assist that time. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Outside, Davis. So it's Sacramento picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Yeah, I think they built off that edge of being here and playing with just a little more support. confidence than their opponents. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. We'll see you for Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next Checking the record, like the way it was record records, and stepping no second guessing the steel collected currency. Money. See the way you're acting is acting really amazing. Not up for days into my profession, aggression, and my ability to handle it is how I can channel it, use it to my advantage, and make it work for me. Awesome. I do what I like, see what I'm like. No media hype, me with a mic, media right, fluid and wild, new with a style. If you was a child, media life. That was cold. I am. If you want a ruler, then I'ma be the lion down. I am never lying down. I can break a giant down to a media hype with a media strike. Oh. Not that I'm popular with the poppers. Haters be watching us with binoculars. I could just hear them all crying when they see how I rhyme. I'm a prime they transform like Optimus. I only do it because I'm great. Flowing, I be killing in the paint. Let them know they can't stop us. Tracks and beats is all knockers. Taylor for the Midwest monster. Worldwide chopper. Twister. You don't want you. Want Great choice. That's a difference maker. Sick with the words, lyrical purse in my bag like a purse. Every flow feel like pop doc coach on a merch. Yeah, I feel amazing. My mind racing. I've been patient. Looked at me for motivation. No more waiting. I got them hating. Turn down more advances. Don't have no time to treat me basic. I do what I want. You're crewing up. I eat them for lunch. Check on his heart. Adrenaline rush. Keeping it playing. Don't get him crushed. Been locked in. I ain't do much. She want to choose me. Love over. I'll forever hold it down. I can never give up. This is a God's given gift. I don't really do love. You don't.